When your focus on the world is clear, you see pattern, you see details, you see structure. Within the great structures and the great patterns, smaller ones. Then suddenly it goes into another dimension. And as then it starts getting sound dimensions going with it, all this color. The sound gets so deep and bass and so vibrant that it becomes solid and you can touch it. It is a fantastic pulsation of vibrations, a mixture of form and matter. You have therefore to invoke an external agency to inform matter and to bring it into shape, to order it and to produce art. Some of the things that I've learned as an artist is that you really need to persevere. It's all about creating and to try and find your passion, find what you love to do, and then just do it again and again and again and really put the time in, put the energy in to, to learning as you go, staying the course and devoting yourself to something. And I feel very fortunate and blessed to have found this path in my artwork to the point where I, I get to meditate and think and be inspired and create artwork that in turn sort of provides a foundation for myself and my family to live this life. It's, it's amazing. Just pencil on paper, the most bare form of artistic expression. That's when I can let everything just kind of flow out most directly. I think it's really exciting to combine the organic feeling you get from a pencil drawing with the like technological abilities that we have in programs like Photoshop where you can really hit it with a lot of things visually to make it pop in its own way. Just kind of like really ate up the ability to manipulate stuff digitally. It was intriguing to me and I think the possibilities are really pretty endless. It's this long journey that goes through all these different stages but it ends up being this like giant piece of candy that's stuck to the wall with the inks on the canvas and the lighting like that's the finished version when you burn a piece of wood with a laser it infuses it with this power it allows me to sort of translate these layers that i've been making in photoshop into actual physical layers and that's been a fun process developing these shadow box style pieces Another sort of common thread through all of my work is, is definitely music. Music has been a huge part of my life, listening to it and playing it and studying it and, and loving it. There's such a flow to music, you know, it goes up and down and around and it's powerful, it's calm, it's subtle, it's emotional, it's spiritual. There's so many things about music that I want to try and capture in my artwork. One thing that I really appreciate about the flow is that it's everywhere. Blood flows through our veins, rivers flow down the mountains, like surfboard flowing across the surface of a wave. It's all in motion and it's all connected. I feel like when you can feel the flow, it lets you sort of align with the motion and find your way through. You know, everything in nature is balanced and to have bright colors and swirling lines and 
the intricate patterns, these are the things that I see in nature when I look at mountains and sunsets and animals and things. I, see, I notice these patterns, I notice the vibrancy and the energy. And I try and make all the aspects of my artwork all kind of come around and interact with each other again, you know, and from the start to the end, all the way to the edges of the page. Like I like the composition, the whole thing to be fully balanced and sort of like flowing with energy. power of art, it can make you feel, it can make you remember, it can make you fantasize and create new things in your mind. It's, it's like an ability to sort of meditate and reflect. Creating artwork is so that people can experience it. And for me, developing these products that people can actually participate in and with allows that to go one step further. That's, you know, contributing to the shared experience and that's kind of what I'm really attempting to do is sort of raise the collective vibration of, of everything. It all contributes.